Hello friends, let's learn about unit 3 define layout of the application as a part of design studio 1.6 course. In this uh, video we will learn about the various uh, standard and custom templates available in the design studio 1.6 and how we can use the CSS uh, like style sheet as well in this uh, video to enhance our application or analysis dashboards. So let's go to unit uh, lesson one using standard and custom te created templates. So whenever we create new application in Design Studio, these are the different different templates which are available. Means they they pro SAP provides and these are the pre-built uh, apps that are available. So if you see SAP UI5 and SAP UI5 modern, so these are the different templates. So these are uh, pre-built and we can customize it as well means and it supports rollout of a self-service scenarios and BW on uh, and HANA online. It also supports universe data sources and that can be further enhanced, customized or simply used as blueprints by designers and this can be interoperable with the standard analysis applications. then ready to run generic analysis so whatever you see this is uh, ready to run generic analysis if you see this is ready to run generic analysis so how this looks like this has uh, includes menu filter area navigation area setting area for chart data area with different views action area so it has everything uh, like pre-built we just need to assign some data sources uh, our data sources whatever there and um, it has very simplified lay layouts, new info charts and feeding component is available, drag and drop and custom measures and top end filters. So if you see this is on the left side there are measures, then columns, rows. So what are the columns or rows or the data sources we uh, will assign that that will appear here. Then you, you on this side you will see settings for charts, we can change the chart, different different charts from here. Then uh, there is a menu if you see on the right side. Then navigation panel is this is the navigation panel where we, we can change. Then action area will have this uh, action area where we can uh, we will see the actions required for uh, this. Okay, so this is where uh, ready to run generic analysis. Then ready to run online composition. So this is again uh, provided by SAP, which is uh, which will have this uh, various uh, options like. Uh, create, edit, open, share and delete compositions and new is global filters for composition for global filter for composition is available so and smart objects uh, if you see this is smart objects and the global filters available there are also charts and uh, uh, charts are also available there and the third one is data exploration and visualization app uh, as a ready to run so this will have the, all these means this is uh, analysis data and gain insight with the visualization it will have filter data and dimensions uh, we can have full pure table experience we can visualize the data with the bw hierarchy use standard context menu we can use report 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 to report interface we can create different visualization for story composition so this is all in one like means is a complete uh, template we can say visualize several several data sources and lastly we can compose uh, a story to with others like if you see this first tab is about visualization the second tab is uh, compose which means we can save the uh, this dashboard to bi platform with the document le level security or we can share with the ad as a pdf or share we can uh, share a url link to a story it is same like the sap lumira uh, dashboards where we can crea create a storyboards like that now the templates means we can create a custom templates as well if you see this is an uh, there is an uh, uh, in design studio pr in preferences there is an application templates option in uh, under application design so we can add this custom template uh, as a user defined add and then we can design our own um, templates so we will see in a practically means how we can do this in uh, design studio so that's what about uh, templates let's go to working with the themes and embedded css uh, editor so these are the four um, css uh, 
these are the four themes which are available uh, with with the design studio if you see means whenever we create a new application under application properties there is a theme option in display section uh, we will we'll see this four uh, properties blue crystal high contrast black mobile and platinum platinum so mostly blue crystal is preferred uh, by sap due to its uh, various options available and its its uh, uh, display um, so it looks good and uh, in a rich in look and feel then css code as a property of a component so we can give a css code uh, means if you see this is an uh, one of the text bo uh, text uh, which is not formatted so we can format it in any way means whatever means like in a css so it will better we can define the design of in in the document so we can give the border we can change the background or font color so for this if you apply this css style so this is a css style editor where we can write our custom uh, css and we can change the uh, design we can uh, actually embed embed the external css as well means suppose we have some uh, common uh, css file uh, develop for all the applications and then we wanted to use it for this uh, for uh, all this so how we can do, do this we can just go to the custom css in um, and then we can just browse it uh, here and once we get that means we will we can um, select that particular css dot css file and we can just uh, embed this once we uh, have this embedded then in this we can just edit it if we see this is an edit means we will have these options means we can actually edit uh, separately as well here so this this uh, this is the way we how we can assign a css document to design studio application or we can also uh, assign to a component or some other um, chart or like that okay so that's it about this unit means uh, we have learned about how we uh, what are the standard and custom templates then what are ready to run uh, templates online compositions then custom css and external css uh, we will be seeing this in practically in uh, for each component how we can use this standard component templates custom templates and how we can use this uh, custom css uh, and also external css i hope you have understood this uh, unit if you have any question then please uh, post it in a comment section i will be happy to answer it please like my video and uh, subscribe to my ch channel as well so that you will get to know about my next unit video thank you for watching